My name is Avilash Kramer. I'm a senior at Weston High School, and this summer I had an internship at CMOP where I worked on developing the sensor. Because of nitrate's potency and prominence as a fertilizer, many sensors exist to measure nitrate in water. However, sensors don't really exist to measure it in sediment, and to that end I developed this. Th this is a novel ion selective electrode that I designed. It is built to function specifically in sediment. At the end is an ionophore membrane. Uh, behind that is a platinum wire. This platinum wire is sitting in a reference solution. The potential at the platinum wire is measured against a reference electrode. I also developed a deployment mechanism for this sensor, uh, which is here. In addition to the electrode and the reference electrode, there is a tri-axis accelerometer, a temperature sensor, uh, and a pH electrode. The accelerometer is particularly important because it tells you what orientation the capsule is at and if it's at rest, and if it's at rest, whether it's at rest at the correct orientation. If it is, and it'll tell you on, the, on screen, then it'll start the stepper motor. Now as the stepper motor spins, the plate, this plate here, which has a threaded inner side, moves up and down. Uh, the plate is attached to this hollow rod, which in turn gets attached to the reference electrode, sorry, the working electrode. As the stepper motor spins, the electrode is pushed into sediment, and so a, a depth profile can be taken. So there are a couple of reasons why this project is particularly important. Firstly, it can be used to help mitigate eutrophication, which is what happens when excess nitrate washes into a sediment water system, causing the algae to jack up, using all the oxygen, and killing off the other plant and animal life. Secondly, measurements taken by this device can be used by the Holly Simon group next door uh, in their research to correlate archaeal populations with sediment chemistry.